Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode let's talk about interesting bike from Canyon and it's gonna be Canyon Grizzle CF SL6 for the 2022 season. Also, uh, this bike has one very important uh, feature that you need to be aware of and I will definitely explain this uh, in my video. Before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you are always notified when I make a new video. And of course, if you are already a subscriber, then definitely thank you. So, as I was saying, Canyon Grizzle CF SL6. First thing first, we have to mention the retail price because it's just amazing. This is a 2300 US dollars retail price or if you are in the UK it's 2000 British pounds. This is absolutely astonishing uh, bike price in today's world and if you are looking for this kind of gravel road bike definitely you have to check the Canyon Grizzle platform. So as I said, uh, Canyon Grizzle is all about, you know, typical gravel road bike. So let's imagine you are spending majority of your time on the road, but from time to time you like to go a bit of off-roading, you like to go a bit of, let's say, bike packing, nothing too demanding, then definitely this is the platform Canyon Grizzle that you should have a look at. As I said, retail price is just amazing. 2300 US dollars or approximately 2000 uh, British pounds. Great, great stuff here from uh, Kenyon. Now, let's talk about the paint scheme on this bike. This is very interesting. If you are in the US, US market, you only have one paint scheme uh, on offer. And this is this what they call Olive Sky, kind of a metallic light uh, blue with a hint of almost like an olive green. It's a very decent paint scheme, uh, no problem with this, but what's interesting, if you are in the UK, you have this beautiful, uh, I would call it almost like a solar yellow, or they call it curry powder, and then you have a classical kind of uh, gray and black combination if you are in the, in the UK market. But this uh, solar yellow, as I would call it, I wish they offered this paint scheme also on the US market and all around the world. So. That's a bit of a trick you need to be aware of here when it comes to the paint schemes. Now uh, let's dive in and let's see the specifications of this bike and what do you really get for your hard earned money. As always uh, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on uh, this bike. So you see <coughs> the frame on this bike is the carbon fiber frame uh, from Canyon. This is the Canyon's Grizzle CFSL carbon fiber frame and also the fork is a carbon fiber fork. The thing you need to be aware of here is that Canyon offers a six years warranty on their carbon fiber frames and forks. I wish that Canyon at some point moves to a lifetime warranty but as it is now it's pretty standard in the bike industry, I can't say anything special about their warranty. Also, uh, this uh, carbon fiber frame in the fork, of course, 12 millimeter true axles, both the uh, front and the back, uh, center lock disc brakes, internal cable routing, and also here I will just mention, since this is a gravel road bike, there are a lot of mounting points on the frame and even on the fork, so you can really carry a lot of bags with you or even a tent, you know, all other equipment that you need uh, for bike packing. Another great thing here is that the frame and the fork can accept tires up to 50 millimeters, absolutely superb. And also if you want to mount a dropper seat post in the future, this frame can accept it. And also if you want to mount a front suspension on this uh, frame, it can accept it. So that's all <coughs> good things when it comes to the carbon fiber frame and the fork. Uh, the total system weight, total bike weight, in size kind of medium large will be around 9.8 to 10 kilograms so again uh, nothing special in this department it's a standard bike weight for these kind of uh, gravel uh, road bikes they are even mentioning here that the frame in size medium is 925 grams which is very light in my opinion and also the fork is 430 grams again <coughs> i'm expecting it's in the same you know for the same frame size uh, medium so carbon fiber frame in the fork, <clears throat> everything fine, no special complaints from me. Now let's talk about the drivetrain on this bike and this is a very interesting point and an important point that you need to be aware of. So the drivetrain is the 
mechanical group set from Shimano. Shimano GRX RX 400 group set. So this is a dedicated gravel group set from Shimano. But keep in mind that this is the lowest level of a gravel group set from Shimano. Shimano has their GRX 600, GRX 800, and then of course the lowest level is this GRX 400. So the rear mech, front mech, and the shifters, everything is a mechanical Shimano GRX group set. And the key point here is that this is a 10-speed group set. Yes, so the cassette is a 10-speed cassette. And keep in mind that in today's world where everybody's moving to, of course, 11-speed group sets, 12-speed group sets, this is kind of an old-school 10-speed group set. So if this bothers you, <coughs> then definitely don't buy this uh, bike because in the future you'll need to spend, you know, more money to move to 11 speed uh, group set on this bike but personally for me i would be totally fine with this 10 speed group set because you'll see the range is pretty big so for example as i said the cassette uh, here is the shimano's hg 500 cassette 1134 cassette 10 speed cassette and it is paired with the crank set which is shimano's rx 600 crank set so they've upgraded a little bit the crank set this is a two chain rings crank set and this crank set has 46 uh, 30 chain rings so you see 46 30 chain rings paired with 1134 cassette you have absolutely no problem in climbing any steep hills there's a huge range of gears on this uh, bike chain a bit of deviation from shimano group set they've used kmc x10 chain 10 speed chain personally i'm perfectly fine with this kmc chain but maybe in the future once when you destroy the chain and the cassette maybe you want to upgrade this chain to let's say even shimano 105 level or shimano ultegra level uh, chain i forgot to mention when we were speaking about the frame that the bottom bracket on this frame is a classical PF 86.5, press fit 86.5 millimeters. This one is from uh, Token Ninja, Token Ninja Lite. So I'm not expecting any problems here. Uh, they are even, you know, saying that it has some kind of new thread fit uh, technology, but a classical, you know, PF 86.5 uh, standard of the bottom bracket. Now let's talk about the braking system on these bikes. So you see the brakes are again superb Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. This is again on the levels of GRX 400 uh, whole group set. Uh, braking rotors, which is interesting, uh, Canyon has upgraded to the Shimano's RT70 braking rotors, which is absolutely great because you know the basic rotors here would be the Shimano's RT64 braking rotors, so at least Kenyon has upgraded to the RT70 braking rotors. These are central lock braking rotors. Should be 160 millimeters front and the back, so everything fine here. Another tip for the future, once when you destroy these braking pads and braking rotors, you can always upgrade, for example, to the Shimano Ultegra level braking rotors. They have this famous, you know, Shimano Ice Tech, Ice Freeza technology, which will just help you so much more in heat dissipation. As it is now, perfectly fine, no complaints here. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike. So you see you are getting a DT Swiss C1850 wheel set. You know I'm a huge fan of DT Swiss wheels, they just do great stuff and I'm so glad that Kenyon didn't cut corners here and they have included a proper quality aluminium wheel set from DT Swiss. So the rims on this wheel set, uh, as I said, aluminium rims, 23 millimeters high, internal rim with 22 millimeters, very nice wide rim, and the total weight of this wheel set is approximately 1,900 grams. So de definitely, you know, not the lightest wheel set, but this is a proper gravel kind of off-roading wheel set, so you can't expect a light wheel set. Also, if you are buying this wheel set on the open market, keep in mind that this would be approximately 500 US dollars for this uh, wheel set. And when it comes to the hubs on this wheel set, these would be the DT Swiss uh, 370 hubs, of course, 12 millimeter true axles front and the back, center lock disc brakes with the DT Swiss uh, 3 uh, pole system. And the spokes, of course, from DT Swiss. This should be the DT Swiss Aero spokes uh, and also DT Swiss nipples. Just to mention that in the future you can turn this wheel set into a tubeless ready wheel set, but of course <coughs> you will need to buy your own uh, tubeless tape and the tubeless valves. This wheel set is wrapped in the Maxxis Rambler tires. These are 45 millimeter tires, absolutely great stuff lot of air air volume in this tire and a smooth smooth ride this is what you want on your gravel gravel road bike 
Now let's talk about some smaller components of the cockpit. We can kick off with the handlebar and the stem. So the handlebar is a classical Canyon <clears throat> aluminium handlebar and the stem is also classical Canyon aluminium stem. I'm really glad that these uh, parts are separated so you can finally tune your position on the bike. You can easily replace these parts in the future. Uh, personally, I wouldn't bother. Aluminium pieces on a gravel bike are just superb. They're going to last you a lot of time and definitely you have no uh, problems with the maintenance of these uh, pieces. So everything perfectly fine for me here. Seat post and the seat. So the saddle is the WTB uh, Volt saddle. Perfectly fine in my opinion. If you don't like this saddle, it's easy to replace with your preferred saddle. Saddles are pretty cheap today and once when you have your preferred saddle and just keep it as long as possible and the seat post again I'm so glad that Kenyon has included their carbon fiber seat post they're very famous you know Kenyon VCLS carbon fiber seat post this one has a 20 millimeter setback but the key point here is that this carbon fiber seat post is going to make your ride so much more uh, comfortable and as I was saying the total bike weight for the bike in the size I would say medium large would be 9.8 kilogram so in my opinion a pretty decent uh, bike weight uh, nothing special in this department so now in a summary do I have any special complaints about this bike taking into account the retail price of 2300 US dollars or 2000 British pounds first I gotta mention that the price is absolutely amazing this is probably Currently, if I can remember quickly, the best value gravel bike on the market. So if you can get your hands on one of these, definitely go for it. I mean, 2,300 US dollars, absolutely great, great price. Now, some smaller just thing to be aware of is that this mechanical Shimano group set, Shimano GRX 400 on this bike is a 10 speed group set. So a 10 speed cassette just keep that in mind so as I said if this is something that bothers you then definitely don't go with this bike personally I have no complaints with this <clears throat> I would gladly uh, ride this bike with the GRX 400 group set except from that I absolutely have no complaints about this bike value for money is just amazing and I truly believe that Canyon is gonna sell a lot of these Grizzles CF SL6 uh, bikes so I think this is going to be it uh, for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, please do subscribe and hit that at the bell icon. So you're always notified when I make a new video. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura vida.